Yo everybody, welcome back to Song of the Deep. I'm Blitz of Blitz Dragon Gaming. We are gonna go right back into all of this mess that we've created. I know last time we didn't get as far as we wanted to, or well, at least we're as far as I wanted to, but today our goal is to keep pushing, keep going. I wanna get to another boss or another big event. So I have you know, haven't looked ahead. I don't know what's coming up. Um, so we'll just kind of just see from where we're going, you know, how much farther we need to go. So if this will load. All right, let's check on our map where we need to go. Looks like it's right over here. We're going to go up. A and of the Cyclops turret scanned the quiet waters of the ruins. A solemn reminder of an ancient conflict. <sighs> I forgot about that. Forgot about that. Just gotta be careful here. <clears throat> a Fomori Cyclops I'm gonna make it. The quiet yeah. Of the ruins. A solemn reminder of an ancient conflict. Okay. So I'm guessing... Ooh, what's this? Marin had discovered an old diving suit. She put it on, and in a pocket of the suit, she found a striped seashell tied to a string. It looked just like the one her father kept above the fireplace. She tied the string around her neck, hoping the shell would bring her luck. I hope it does too, man. <clears throat> Exit the summer and breathe underwater as Marin. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Um, Marin held her breath and dove out whoa, through the submarine. Whoa! Look at this! <laughs> I never thought <laughs> in this game that we'd be exiting the submarine at any point. That is a very interesting mechanic. Oh, you know what? That's what we gotta do to get this head through. Hmm. And this game is just like kind of lulls you to sleep sometimes. <laughs> she noticed bubbles coming out of the shell around her neck. Putting it to her mouth, she gently breathed in and felt the air fill her cheeks. Were these the same shells that were once used by ancient explorers? That's nuts. So anytime I can just go back. Instead of having to run back. That makes things so easy. Oh my gosh. So like in this case. That would be a case where I would need to. Can I attack or anything from here? Oh, I can. Huh. That's really cool. I like that mechanic a lot. So we need to head back down now. I can head up through there now, though. Oh, I hope it doesn't come up here. Don't destroy my ship. <laughs> mm, can't really do anything yet. Okay, I'm going to stay here for a second. Don't kill me, bro. Oh, you didn't see me. Hey, that's right. You just keep rolling down there. Sweet. Okay, well, that is really interesting. That's going <clears> to <throat> probably play a big portion of going through small little crevices and cracks and stuff in a little bit. But for now, we're just going to go to the next area. Um, I did this part, I remember, because I hated it. I'm not even going to stick around. Um, by the way, little side note, I was planning on recording uh, No Man's Sky for PC, but the only problem is, is um, and it's not just me, there's a lot of people that are complaining about the horrible optimization that's for uh, PC right now, and I unfortunately am one of those. Uh, I can't run the game really past 20 to 30 fps and that doesn't make for a nice smooth experience for any of you guys so i would i'm gonna just gonna wait until that is fixed 
Um, and then I'm gonna start recording. If I had it for PS4. Sadness. Oh. Was Kara the only marrow left? Um, if I had it for PS4, I would have definitely done that instead. <clears throat> because, oh crap, these guys are coming after me. That was worth it, 75 of them though. Um, but unfortunately I do not. So, just kind of have to wait it out, I guess. I would. Ho I was going to hope that, before I touch this mermaid and become a cutscene or whatever, um, I would hope that... You know they would have had this figured out they dropped the ball on this um it's different game makers but with like arkham knight for pc i was super happy about because when i bought my computer i actually got uh, a graphics card that was like oh you get a free copy of arkham knight and i'm like that's awesome i love batman who doesn't like batman you know so and then that game was horribly optimized i don't believe they ever fixed that game um, Just Cause 3 is another example, but also PS4 had lag issues. I mean, I would much rather, and I'm sure some of you would agree, if not most, that gameplay and the frame rate is much more important than the graphics. And you you should be able to have both. I mean, if you look at games like Mad Max, um, other games, examples, that they don't... They just... they they do a good job of optimization it makes people happy when they're like smooth it just doesn't make it playable like you don't it just feels weird when you're playing under 30 frames and you're just like ugh, why would i want to play more than five minutes on this so you would think they would want to optimize it correctly but i don't know how much goes into that i'm not a designer or or graphic you know anything but i do I would think that you would put extra time into making the game playable for not only the best video cards which I've even heard the best video cards for No Man's Sky weren't doing well I would also make sure the lower video cards try on lower computers lower settings all that stuff um, on higher settings you know things that sort of thing to make sure that your game is fully playable and optimized like optimizable to make it well worth your time but that's just a little side note as Marin approached, Kara slowly lifted her head. She looked pale and weak. With a gentle wave of her hand, she showed Marin a shimmering image of a tall tower beneath the sea. Kara spoke softly, and there was a touch of pain in her voice. This is the Deep Light. It was built long, long ago, and now lies dormant. If you awaken the tower, we'll show you the way to find your father. She leaned closer and whispered the secret of how to awaken the deep light. Meryn thanked her and said goodbye. She would find some way to repay Kara's kindness once she had found her father. Dang. See, like this game here, like I... I'm having no issues with any frame rate. Everything is super nice. There's a little bit of screen tearing, but I think that's only because I have vertical, vertical sync turned off. Um, oh, there's a whole bunch of places I need to go. Hmm, let's see. Where should we go first? I say since we're already kind of going left, let's go over there. Is there like a teleporting thing I can take? Yes. Dang, I, I forgot how big this map is. Like, look at this. And then there's like the maw down there. And where am I? Right there? So. Hmm. Yeah, probably the best route is just to go through all that crap. <laughs> uh, or I guess up there. That's, you know, like we could probably just do that. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. There's a teleporting thing over here. I am going to return to my submarine. that once powered the deep light had been scattered across the sea. Kara had marked their locations on Marin's map, but she warned that retrieving them would be a very dangerous task. I'm up for dangerous. Let's do it. Was there something up here I didn't get? I don't know. Let's keep rolling. Yeah, this submarine is definitely a lot faster, and that's why I wanted to do this. Is there a portal up there? There is one there. We need to go there. Yeah, that's our best option. 
Okay, I'm gonna trade with you, see what you got. I got 567, so give me something good. How much is this one? Or this one? Wait. Where does it, why is it not telling me how much these are right now? Am I blind? It wasn't telling me. I don't. I don't know. Um, let's go up here. We're gonna take the teleporter. Uh, that one. So how are you guys doing? I know we chat a lot. We do a lot of fun stuff together. How are you guys? We want to build this community. This first video that we have this series was up to two forty something. Um. <clears throat> but we want a lot of you guys that are watching, or at least viewing it and clicking away, whatever, to be more involved with us. You know, what games do you want to see us play? Uh, maybe things that are coming out, you know, or have come out recently, or, or whatever the case, uh, that you want us to play. We'd be down to try it um, for your interest. You know, this is not just for us. I mean, it is a, a majority of the starting this channel was really just for fun um, between my friend Dragon and I. Um, we... You know, grew up good friends, uh, best friends, and, you know, we uh, kind of been separated by a state, and so we decided to play games together, and we wanted to play it and see if any of you guys enjoyed it uh, watching us play them. So that was our main goal, but definitely we want to build a community too, uh, as of anyone would, but uh, we want to get involved with you guys. We play um, a a good amount of, of games. I mean, I would even be down to try horror games, that sort of thing, if, if Dragon was up to it. He doesn't really like them, so we'll see how that goes. But, um, let's see. How do I get into here? Oh, man. Do I have to go all the other way? <sighs> yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to go back to the teleporter. And it's just down here around the corner. Those eyeballs are freaking me out. Uh, oh, a coin. Yay. Well then. What I think I'm going to do then is I'm going to end this episode here. And I'll pick it up in the spot where we need to be next time. So I thank you guys for watching. I'll get us to the entry point, and then we'll go from there in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like and comment if, if you did enjoy, um, and subscribe as well. We'll be releasing a lot more content of this and a few other games in the near future here. Thanks so much. Bye.